messed up and went all the way out of our way for nothing. We could have gone to Mount Rushmore right here. Seems Ready, Dad? Thing. Take a picture of me. I'm so close. Yeah. You can actually touch these guys. So that's the original well that was here when he founded it, and he promised free ice water to, for people that came and gave him business, and he still has it today. One main advertisement was pies. Bab Babs is starting to get hangry now because she can't find her pies. And that's not good when she gets hangry. No, we need to find a pie. That's pretty cool, though. For a real stuffed rabbit? The, the, the big blue horn bone? I have a sign. That's right. You want coffee? Yes, I'd like one. I'll buy two you got cups. A nickel? Good. You got a dime. Cups? I'll buy. Bam. Is that a free refill for us? I guess so. <laughs> Dude, coffee to go is 35 cents? Holy smokes. Now, is it a roast beef sandwich? A ham sandwich? No, that's dark roast. Dude, that sounds so good. There's no shortage of grape. That's for sure. Also, outside the price. Whatever. All right, I think everyone's done. My hair's done. I need to take a shower. I'm ready to start driving again so we can get parked somewhere and get going. All right, so what do we think? How is, how is Wall Drug? Great. Good. Pretty cool stop if you're ever in South Dakota, just in case you're traveling through. Well, uh, maybe you could be going to Mount Rushmore. You could be. Stop by Wall Drug. There's plenty to do. Good food. That dinner was amazing. With Babs, you got your pie. Drinks. You're good. I want it hot though. Still, I had the cherry. It was great. Yeah, it's definitely a good stop. Wall Drug. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm really tall, so. You have two options. Your train goes, goes right there, right drops car. into the train car, next train fills up, or you got the trucks. The trucks can pull under here, and they drop the chute, and then all the grain just Come down, grain! You can take a grain shower right now. how light it is. It's a pretty cool sunset though, it's pretty bright. California, Florida, and Hawaii. Um, there's over 11,000 lakes in Minnesota, and in order for the lake to have its shoreline accounted for, uh, it has to be at least 10 acres. So that's how they find that figure and come up with that number, I guess, so that's a lot. So I'm gonna see how many lakes we actually see as we drive across Minnesota. That'll be my gauge if I believe them or not. I still believe them, but.
So we're at the Mississippi River. It's at the border of Minnesota and Wisconsin. It pretty much divides right down the middle of the river. So we're gonna drive over into Wisconsin, see how far we can get. We're gonna keep pushing towards, uh, I think we're gonna keep pushing towards Indiana, try to get to South Bend, but I don't know. Mark's been driving that motorhome for I don't know how many days now by himself. I think it's starting to wear on him. I'm still good to go driving, but I've got Tracy to help me too. So uh, we'll see how far we get. Hopefully we can get a little bit further because we still got a long ways to go. It's a pretty little area. Lots of, lots of stuff in here. Lots of allergies going on here. So the Mississippi River starts at Lake Itasca, I think it's called, which is like six hours north of here in Minnesota up there. And it's 2,320 miles long, goes all the way down the Gulf of Mexico where it empties. Uh, but it is a huge river. And actually right here where we are at, there's uh, some docking and some locks where uh, they actually bring goods up and they uh, transport them further up river. They just called us on the radio. The trailer lost a wheel somewhere. All right, so we were cruising down 90, <laughs> minding our own business, just outside of Milwaukee, Chicago-ish, like Madison, just past Madison. And we get a call on the radio. Pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over. And of course, no one's saying anything. We don't know what's going on, so we pull over. Well, it turns out, tire came off the trailer. Went bouncing into the center divider. So Tracy and I kept going straight. We tried to uh, find a place where we could turn around, but there were no exits, just another interstate, so that didn't work. Mark ended up going into the center divider, finding his tire. Thank God it didn't go into the other lanes, because that would have been a disaster. But he saved the tire, and now we gotta put this thing back together. So nice little, it's eight o'clock, nice little delay, We're trying to get to Indiana. Things just keep racking up, so this should be fun. Okay, so update, uh, this is where you look up the definition in the dictionary of SOL, we qualify. Usually my father-in-law can fix just about anything. This can't be fixed. The axle, basically the hub just heated up, melted everything together, tire flew off. Uh, when we took the nut off in order to get everything else off and put the new stuff on, it all melted together, ended up stripping the threads that are on the actual axle yourself. So the only real way that you could do it was to put a new axle on, but the way these trailers are, the axles are actually welded on, so it's not like something you just go buy apart. It's actually a big, a big pain in the ass. Um, so, it's uh, a little after nine. We're outside of Madison, Wisconsin. Only choice really is to wait until tomorrow, until the U-Haul place opens, and then we're gonna rent a little box trailer, a six by 12, offload whatever we can out of this to lighten up the weight, and then it should be all right to carry it on the the remaining two axles and just try to get to New York with what we have, so. He got the bright side, he found his tire. That's the bright side, he found his tire. Good thing he's, good thing you saw it go. Otherwise you would've just kept driving for hundreds of miles without even knowing, probably. Right here, all this threading melted and it ended up stripping stripping away so when you put your wheel on and your hub and your bearings and everything and your locking nut right here there's nothing to grab to so that wheel will just fall off again. So that's it. 